What's good, you guys? It's ZJ Daniel here, back with the Call of Duty. Uh, remember those days? Those were apparently really good days that I missed out on. But then again, I missed out on all of the best games. I shouldn't even be playing this right now, but am I? Yes. What's good, you guys? It's ZJ Daniel here, back again once again today, people. Today, ooh. This, this, this one. See, here's the problem. I did this one. I got two stars, and I, I, I got two stars. And it was like, I know I can do this again, and I got the three stars. This one, I knew I got two stars, and I did again to get the third one. But this one, I, I like, I know I can do the two hundred, the second one, but the 50 health one, that's going to be hard. And again, I to, to do this, even on normal, to we beat it in a general, bomb threat against I have to use techniques they don't teach you. It is crucial that you choose an entry point that minimizes your exposure to enemy fire Those and the time it takes to reach the bomb and disarm it. Oh, no, Repelling you is just... the quickest way to traverse the building, allowing you to bypass corridors and stairs. That's his stupid Once you reach the target, you will need to I've disarm a bomb now, loaded with an unknown over. chemical compound. Frick back. We have equipped you with a diffuser. Set it near the bomb to intercept the signal. Yeah, no, there's Protect a really the smart way while to do completes that. the sequence. They also don't tell Also, the re the main reason I failed this one is because this gun is terrible. I hate this gun. The reloading, I don't like it. It's like, it's okay, but even still. So, you just run so slow with it for whatever reason. But, again, they don't tell you that you can go all the way around the building. They just tell you repel through one of those windows. And that's stupid. Going through any of those windows gets you killed. This, they want you to start from, like, over there and come up through here. There's a guard there that you can easily avoid. But this, this is by far the best entry I have found. Let me know if you guys have found a better one, but... You get, you basically get a free descent. So I can do this. Now you might have noticed, this door is reinforced. That's what this little thing is. Do they tell you that they can reinforce walls and that you gotta be careful where you put your thing? No, they don't tell you that. Why? Because they're bad at their jobs. But I'm just gonna chill here on the floor while I use, what, wait, 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 which button is it? It's six. I don't know what button it does that does that. But, we'll tell you that they use you have to be careful because they actually can shoot you. So I can do that. Sneak through the little barbed wire. That doesn't stop me. There's also going to be barbed wire over here. No. They want you to use this entryway. Which, while it is a good entryway, I'll give them that. I didn't get to mark them to show you guys, but I already know where all of them are. So. Honestly, I use, I use, I did use a breacher to breach this wall. Well, I I just think it's the smartest idea. It gets rid of the barbed wire, by the way, as well. So make sure you're not standing too close because it does hurt you. Also, do not put it on the reinforced walls. That is just about the stupidest thing you could do. Okay. Uh, I'll do this just to show you guys. Oh shoot! I forgot about the guard! I forgot about the guard! I forgot about the guard! He's he not dead. If I don't see a body, he ain't dead. Watch! You son of a- I'm gonna die. Because I'm being stupid. Not that good. They're gonna break. They're gonna break through now. All I wanted to do was show them something cool. Jeez. Now, they do this so that you don't take this passive away. This is a very smart passive. As far as I can tell, it's not very heavily guarded. You can easily come up right through here. Except for you! 
didn't see him there. I've never gone this way. I've just, like, looked in here. This entire wall, which is stupidly reinforced. Like, how, how would you, how would one even break through that wall? Can I rappel down from the ceiling? I actually feel like I can do that now. But it's reinforced, so you can't. So that's a, that's a dumb way to go. Now, honestly, what I find is the best is you're going to want to breach this wall next to this side. Unless there are people behind you. Why was that person there? See, it's honestly, the, the major thing I find different about, see, here's the thing, I'm used to the other campaign. I don't, I don't own any of these games. I, I play the free demos and stuff. I would love to buy these games, except for I don't have any money online that I can use to buy them. And the fact that my parents, if, like, my, my parents, they'll, like, enter in, like, their money to buy, like, one game at a time, but they won't you enter in their information to stay there. Which is really annoying. Because that means I can only buy games they approve of. I mean, it's not, like, bad. But it's still, like, eh. Like, they know I have Overwatch and stuff like that. But, you see, it's stupid stuff like that. What the freaking hell? That didn't happen last time. We walked the exact same route. I walked the exact same route five times before. And it didn't do that. That's what I, like, like and hate about this campaign. Because literally, what happens is randomized. What they do can be random. For instance, there can be a random guy, the random guy who's in the other thing, he can decide, oh, maybe I should cover this thing. Instead of covering my thing. Which is stupid, in my opinion. I hate the fact that he can make the conscious. There's no bear game. This Try and make your way through there. You need to move out now! Not happening, punk. Can they blow me back through this wall? I don't know. I'm kind of scared. By the way, you can only melee this. You can't shoot it. So be careful. And it won't really do much. It won't really damage you so much as it just is really annoying and it slows you down. But as it was where's the sun? Were they having a dance party? What the freaking hell is going on with the game right now? What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna plant this explosive. But you're not gonna wanna be in here. You're not even gonna wanna be here when it goes off. You're going to want to be here. You're going to want to make them think that you're going through there by blowing it open. But then, you come through the front. And you come through very slowly. There are three guys inside. One behind a barricade this side, one by a barricade that side, and one behind the bomb. So, let's get started. Look at that. Look at that! Genius! Not so much genius. Are they attacking me from behind? I just see gunfire from behind. And honestly, you just wanna wait for them. Because trying to go in after them is kinda stupid. What I really wish... I really wish this was like COD in the way that it would heal you. Because this, this right here, this is the hardest part, because I have zero health to deal with. So let's go ahead. Watch this. This is the secret technique right here. You gotta be really sneaky with this. Ready? You can plant it behind the barricade. One. Protected from enemy action. And you hide behind the desk. And if you hide just right, they won't come up behind you. Five seconds left. Shoot him. Oh, we defused in thirty seconds. I'm so scared. I have twenty seven HP. Take 
15 seconds. Five seconds remaining until the bomb is defused. Hostiles have found. Fucking hell, I missed the objective. Gosh darn it. Hostile bomb defused. Mission successful. I got so scared that they were gonna come behind me that I let them out. Gosh darn it. That's so, that's so annoying. I could have got that star too. It's like, I know I can get that star. If I had like 30 more HP, I would have gotten that star. But it's okay. Actually, I think I'm gonna separate these two because I know the next one is gonna take me. <laughs> oh boy, that one's gonna take me a while. So, this one was probably gonna be either. This is either gonna be really short or really long, depending on how I feel about it. Because I know that the next one took me an hour to beat by itself because they again it was just because they didn't follow a strict pattern if you did something or if you shot out of line or if something came up behind you surprisingly they would change course and that would mess you up so this may or may not be the end if it is the end thank you guys for checking out the video we won't do uh actually you know what i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end this one here because it's probably been like what 15, if it's been 15 minutes, I'll probably just make this one its own episode. But thank you guys for checking out the video. You know me, guys. You, actually, if you made it to this point of the video, make sure you comment not done. Because we have so much more to go. We're almost halfway done. We just have to do, um, this is going to be hell. No, this one's going to be hell. I haven't done Cold Zero. So all of these I haven't done yet. And the thing is, I didn't want to go totally blind. Like, I wanted to get a feel for it. And I have my feel, but I do not feel safe at all. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. You know me, guys. DJ Daniel. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So, you know that guy? The guy who told you it might be... Might, might be... Might, might be... A two-parter, or it might not. Been he may or may not have lied, attacks. because I don't know yet. <laughs> What's the mobility and the high-profile nature of the attack against random victims appeals to organizations looking to make a name for themselves. This kind of attack, if successful, can make their cause now and increase member recruitment. Tubular assaults provide very little cover and minimal escape routes. The FBI SWAT operator, Ash, will be deployed for this situation. Her breaching rounds enable you to aggressively seize and control lines of fire. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you what they didn't tell you when they were explaining things. For starters, there's 11 of them and one of us. This is totally not fair. Secondly, what they also didn't tell you is that her gun gets two rounds. And fun fact, there is no reloading. Are you- We lost. We lost. I can't do this one round. That's- st Okay, I wanted you to know, I've been having this glitch with my mouse for too long- Freaking long, and it's starting to piss me off. It will randomly shoot. Giving away my location, giving away- That's why I broke my headphones. I broke my headphones because it randomly shot, giving away my position in the campaign of the other game, and I got downed by a freaking tank. Now you guys will see it. You trust me, you will see it. I haven't even begun to edit that stuff though yet. There's 11 of us. There's one guy behind there, he's gonna, f he's gonna throw a flashbang or no? Because I know he likes to throw a flashbang. That guy has flashbanged me and killed me so many freaking times, I don't even want to tell you. And the thing is, because there's no healing in this game, it's so easy to get down. Because it's like, they just, all they have to do is do enough damage. Okay, I know that, okay, this is the door. Get ready for this. Sit down. Sit down. Dead. 
This is a very big choke point. There's usually two people in there. You need to watch up here. They will come down. There's, I think there's one guy up there. Okay. You need to watch your downstairs because they will come up, up out of there. This, this right here is the hardest. See how they have this barricade? They are in there sitting like little B words. Is it? It's never been barricaded before. It's never been barricaded before. See, and they don't tell you that they can put up their own barricades. And if this is going to be a hard mode, I know that the guy down the hall around the corner over there, yeah, no, he can put up a shield. They, they don't even tell you exist. See? They don't even tell you those exist yet. Now, honestly, I'm going to reach right here. Think I'm going to I won't. You guys have given me so much freaking trouble. I hate you. Die. Now you can you can come from up here and come down here and murder this guy. I've done it like three times, but after like after like twenty tries, this guy magically started getting the shield. And this shield is literally a bulletproof shield of invincibility. He can sit down there and just not. And then I never Never remember this. This was never here. I always, what I eventually got down to the pattern of doing was throw a smoke grenade in there, kill this guy first, because that guy gives me problems. And the problem is they get a shot. They get to choose their weapon, basically. They get to choose their weapon, basically. And it's so freaking annoying. And watch this, ready? I have zero rounds. No ammo, right? Refill. Oh, yeah, I get to refill my ammo. Watch this. Really? My, 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 my supplies is full. Full. No ammo. You don't get any more charges. You don't get any more anything. You're out. So now, what I tend to do, I want to be very careful approaching this. Not that careful though, because that's another thing I don't like about this game is there is no crouch. You're either fully down or you're not down. At all. So that's what I used to do. I used to come through that little secret passageway that we'll go through in a second, and would come down here and pound the, these uh, those three guys. So if everything goes according to plan. Actually, you know what? Why the frick? Where's the barricade on this door? There's usually a barricade. Okay, I know that none of them are out here. They are never that. They're never that. They're always in the plane. I'll tell you that much. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because they are. They give me so many issues. I've never done this without a breach. I've always done it with at least one breach. And the time I did it with one breach, I died. So I'm kind of scared now. But I know. That these guys stay in the cargo hold. Watch your corners, make sure they're not in here. What they'll do is that's straight down. That would be if I can break the ground and land it. Here's our problem. There's gonna be one guy who's either in this corner. Okay, he's been moved. He's been moved recently. He likes the other corner more. But there's one guy here. There's another guy who sits at this corner. That barricade was not there. Actually, no. Yes, it was, but he was facing the other door. Now I'm sort of scared. Okay, I know that. Those are my four enemies. Because I already killed one of them. Okay. So I think the best case, the best, the best idea is to take out the other two guys first. Here's the problem. They move. Like, yeah, I ping them, but they will move off course. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to come from the other side. Not this side, but the other side. Because by the looks of it, they're expecting me to come from this side. So I can only hope, I have 100 HP, 
Does that mean I'll do it? Hell no, I'm gonna get rocked. Watch this. Three hostiles remaining. Smoke them out. I wasn't born yesterday. Screw off. Nope. Where is he? Oh my god. Four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. Huh, yeah, no, that guy, last episode, he totally lied. We did this way too fast. I'm guessing, like, around, I don't know, 14 minutes, maybe, 15, how did we do it that fast? I've lost my brain, I'm going, I'm going insane. How? That is the first time I've done that, and without any breach charges, too, I wasted one of them, and then the other one, like I told you, they don't tell you that they can deploy shields and stuff like that, but I guess we are, in fact, going to probably merge them, because the thing is, there's only five days in a week, including tomorrow, I'll probably upload one tomorrow, but, you know, there's so much I want to do with the channel, and you guys, if you haven't seen the update, please, I implore you. I'm begging you, watch the update. It's so freaking important that you watch those, because that's what tells you everything that's going on. I'll probably make up a schedule in my mind, write down some notes for it, and I'm going to record it, like, probably after I finish recording all these. Probably. Depending on what time it is. It's only 10.45, so yeah, we couldn't have done that. But in the next episode, we'll probably deal with Cold Zero and assess, uh, ass asset protection. Again, like, I don't want these videos to go on for, like, an hour like my max is probably 45 minutes if it goes on for more than 45 minutes I probably will just separate and one will be short and one will be super long because I've played these four I haven't done any of these six and honestly I'm scared because the thing is when you're playing multiplayer it's okay Th this would have been easy if it were multiplayer because it'd be a 5v5 and it'd be like okay well I have a team I can do this it's like, in these situations, you're on your own. Oh, and there's a hostage in this one. Oh, that'll be fun. You guys have already seen that one. Thank you guys so- Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for checking the video. If you made it to this point in the video, please comment, finished. Because I'm most likely going to upload them together. If I didn't upload them together, let's see how much you were paying attention. If I didn't upload them together, then name it, scared. Cause I'm just terrified. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. You know me, guys. DJ Daniel. I'm really stupid.